Hey friends, it's Angie from The Road to Simple and I am going to be putting together a colorful summertime spread for the last week of June. So stick around for a fun plan with me. Welcome everyone. If you're new to my channel, I appreciate you stopping in to see what we're all about. I make videos about calendar planning and I also make videos about decluttering. Today I'm in calendar mode and for those of you who are regulars, welcome back. It's great to be with you. I am going to use my summertime sticker book. This has some really cute things. I used it for my June currently page, but I'm going to use some of these cute summertime swimsuits, all that kind of thing for this spread. So let's get started. I usually start with my sidebar first, which I think this would be cute. So I'm gonna start with that down at the bottom of the page. I think I might've got that a little bit crooked. Let's see. You can see I was getting that crooked. I should have straightened it out before I kept going, but let's do it this way. I'll get out my little air pocket there. Now we'll go back down. I was hoping I would cover up that notes. Didn't quite get it, so I'm gonna use my whiteout pen just to cover that up real quick. Easy peasy, just like that. In this area here, I usually put my top priorities, which is usually a one, two, three. This has more spaces than three, one, two, three, four, five, but I think I'll put that in that spot here and I can kind of put some of my top priorities here. And I think I will use a mix of, let me find those boxes back. These boxes, uh, these washi tape pieces between these two pages. I think I've got way more than enough to do this spread. Actually kind of mix in all of these washies. Let's see what, what it looks like. Put on my washi town first, I think. It's only two rows, isn't it? I thought that was gonna be three. I'll put this across here. And I'm just gonna go on the top of the lines all the way across. Rather than trying to stay top or bottom, and that one I didn't do in the middle. Pull that back up a little bit. There. And now let me pull the. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring this blue over onto this page. So I think I'll put it right here. Oh, fun colors, fun, fun colors. And let's use this one column to finish off this line. I have pink in the same dotted pattern as this blue. I have pink and I also have gold. So let's see, let's do pink over here. This is gonna go across all three columns. And 
cans in. Let's flip the gold in because the vertical boxes that I'm going to use also have gold writing on them. Let's just go all the way across all four columns with this. Which is something a little bit different because a lot of times I keep my Saturday and Sunday as one big block. That will not be the case on this layout. I may put some more gold in just to carry this from one page to the other. So let's see how that looks if I put another piece of gold somewhere. Actually, I may make this one big block here, so I'll make this a double tape. That will make this one to be defined a little bit better. So I have these plus these, I think, in smaller sizes too. So let's think about what I need to block in for this week. I have, I believe, a birthday that I need to mark on Friday and one on Saturday. So let's look at some of these small ones for birthdays. Before I get to the birthdays, let's look at tying this element in. So that means I'm going to take this box and put it over here somewhere. Now, this could be turned sideways as opposed to being vertical. Actually, I think that might be kind of neat for the weekend. Let's do that. Let's put it across here for the weekend. Let's see this. Let's make this a cluster right here. I'll lap over that a little bit. And then I'm going to put another small one here. Um, so I'm going to put something right here for my sister's birthday. Let's put this in here. Let's look and see what we can do with some of these boxes over here for another cluster. This swimsuit is cute and I also have these swimsuits and sandals and separate stickers as well. Some transparent ones and white back stickers. You're not going to see me in a bikini like that, but I'm going to put it on my calendar spread. <laughs> I could wish that I could wear something like that. <laughs> All right, let's try that. Let's do that one. Now, if I want to start pulling in some things with the gold, here's Sleep in, every summer has a story, summer vibes. I like that summer vibes. Let's see what that looks like. Might actually make that go all the way down to that line right there. Not lap over this line, lap over the box up here, I'm sorry. Oh, that's cute. I like that. I always use a double column block for my road to simple tasks. So I want to keep that one there. But this one I could do something else in. I could use any of these for shopping or family time or other blocks. Maybe to tie this watermelon in the screen in, I will put one of these over here on this side. Wow, I've just covered that whole tape up. That was so cute. <laughs> hmm. 
What do y'all think? Let me do this. I'm just going to cut straight across here. So that I can make this fit underneath that line. So I don't completely lose that color. And line it up like that. Yep, I like that. Let's use this treat yourself to tie in this washi tape. Unfortunately, I've got it all covered up over there. I didn't really tend to do that, but that's the way it worked out. So let's use this up here. Okay. Let's see how that kind of covers part of that up, but I think that's all right. Except I didn't come straight down. Let me adjust that a little bit if I can. I do a lot of adjusting <laughs> because it looks like it's going down straight until I let go of it and then I see it's not. There we go. I'm liking the way this looks. Let's see. I think we need a something little to go here. Summer vibes, family vacay. Don't have a family vacation. Daydreams and ice cream. I like that. That might be cute to put across the weekend. With the, there's an ice cream cone in here. Let's do that. What I think I'm going to do is go ahead and wipe this out. I'm using a Jelly Roll ink pen, white ink pen. I'm going to wipe this line out all the way up here for my weekend. And I believe there might be actually a cute weekend header. Let's look for that. Here we go. Hello, weekend. Bring on the week. No, busy weekend. Best week. No, best weekend ever. Best weekend ever. Hello weekend. Let's go with this pink hello weekend. Let's see. I'm going to put this cute daydreams and ice cream. Might be kind of hard for you to see since it's gold. But I'm going to put that in here. And I apologize if you hear my husband has the weed eater going outside. <laughs> Hopefully that won't show up too much on my audio. And I believe I have a cute little ice cream cone I could put there. Let's go ahead and just look for that right now. Yeah, this is cute. Grab one of these ice cream cones and put here for my weekend. All right, now let's go back to boxes for the other times of the week. And the sunshine would be neat to put somewhere. I might stick the sun in. Let's see. Ice cream sandwich goes kind of with this. That kind of looks like a fun part of the weekend. Let's see what we can do with this to put on the weekend. could continue this cluster. My gut tells me to make that lined up with that. I think I want to move it over just to get, I want to cover all that pink line up on the end though. This kind of affords me a little spot here. That's for one birthday. I have a birthday here. Could use one of these boxes for that to go with this ice cream theme right here. Let's pull this one. Because I also have a birthday for a little young girl on 
Friday. So let's put her birthday right here. This is birthday, this is a birthday. So the rest of this is going to be gratitude, to, to do's, shop, declutter, those type of boxes. So I think I'm just gonna stick another couple of those in here. These little partial circles are cute to go somewhere too. Very cute. I'm gonna come back to those in a minute. Sleep in, I love that. <laughs> I should have put that here on the weekend. Every summer has a story. I like that too. Let's grab this one. And I think I will cut this to fit. Again, I don't want to get rid of my lines there. I don't want to get rid of my washi tape, I should say. Let me put this one up first. I don't want the... I'm just... That cut allows me to make this shorter so that my washi tape can still show. And I think I'll use this for a checklist or bullet points. All right, we'll see how this fits in here. Let's see if I do it about like this. Oops, get that straight. Now I could let that go all the way down. I think I'm gonna cut it right here because I want that pink to show. Oops. I might need to cut just a little bit off of that. I'll do that here in a second. Green and Maybe this purpley kind of goes with that blue. We cut both of these off right here. So I can keep my pretty pink dotted line. It's a little bitty piece of paper to get out of there. There we go. This is gonna be my road to simple. This could be shopping perhaps. This could be my gratitude list. I need a regular to-do list. So let's get some more bullets over here. coming together very well this would make a nice big block in itself here as well if I wanted to make that one area I also have these to do's today to buy let's make this my shopping list so I'm gonna use this to buy and let it run off the edge here, see what it looks like to buy. Let's choose a remember in the green so that we've got pink, blue, green. Do a remember block here. Now what I could do 
I'm not going to push that down very far because I'm trying to decide. Do I want to put more bullet points here? This almost looks like this should be one big block. Let me see what this looks like if I put this underneath here. I know that's going to get covered up up there, but it'll look better at the end for that to be covered up on top rather than having that odd placement of the bullet. Move this up just a hair. I think it needs to go up just a little bit higher. About like that. could use that for the entire thing. Let me move that over a little bit. I kind of center this over this area. So it's clear that all of that are remembers. I love it. I love it. Now I think I need something here just to make a divider line. Let's see, do I have more of that gold or something to do a divider line with? Looks like the only thing I have left to pull from this book is maybe this yellow piece of washi. But let's see how it looks. I just need something here. It certainly does. I believe I used this on my currently page too. Did the blue and yellow. If I wanted to, I could put that there. I wish I had enough to do the whole weekend, but I don't. Let's see what this looks like if I do this. Is it long enough to cover this? Could we be that lucky? No, we're not that lucky. I'll tell you what I could do. Let's do this. Put that there, and then I'm going to move this up. Because I like that to block off the weekend. I don't think it has to be there. But I do want to move this if I can. I really would like to move this. I think it's going to come from this direction, just not from the other direction. So there's a tip for you. Sometimes if you just start at the other side, you can make it work. Still got a little bit of a sticky area right here, but I think I can make it work from here. Ooh, just a little bit there. All right, let's move this up here to take care of that problem with the short washi. Not even actually let that lap over there. Or I could put it, I think I'll put it about right there. Just has enough sticky to go back down, I think. And then I'm going to take my whiteout pen and I will get rid of this line. Get rid of this line. Get rid of this one. It still sort of makes a statement for the weekend all being together. Let's see, what am I going to do with this space right here? Do I want more bullets or should I put another block? Let's see what I have. Let's see what my choices are. Oh, I wanted to go back to these. These, I thought these were cute. Sunshine day would work. Hello summer would work. Sunshine, please. That is cute. Let's have a barbecue. That's cute. Let's, let's try this sunshine, please. We definitely need sunshine. And that might look cute right here. Let's see. If I put that right on that yellow beam of light. And across that ice cream spot. 
that ice cream block. I think that looks cute. I like that right along the yellow beam of light. Sunshine with your ice cream cone. Let's look at some more of these. It's summertime. Let's have a barbecue. I like it's summertime. That could go pretty much anywhere. Let's put this off of the swimsuit block here. I have to turn everything sideways in case you had noticed. Ah, sometimes it's, it's easier for me to see it this way. I could go all the way to that line or I could come to this line, but I think I'll do it like this. It's summertime. I could wipe these out so that could be one whole block. See how this looks up here. We do this out of the top block. Even let it go out over the top a little bit, see how it looks. I like that. Do I have something else? Hey, vacay would be really cute there, but I don't have a vacation there. I wish I did. I'm gonna use, go back and get this burger for my barbecue block. Cute. <laughs> I like it. Now I also have more swimsuits that I could throw in. More of these life preservers, sandals. But I don't want to go crazy crazy, but maybe one more of these would be cute in there. I think the ones that are clear are too big. Let me see what this looks like. If I pull this out and put it right here. I like that. I like that a lot. I could put another ice cream cone. Since we have this, this, I could finish off with another ice cream cone down here. Let's see what it looks like. If it's too much, we'll take it off, but I think that might be kind of cute right here. You could keep going and going and going, but at some point you got to stop. How about we put some sandals and sunglasses somewhere? This almost looks like it needs a, it needs a block. If I wipe this out, this needs, it almost looks like it needs something, but I don't have anything here or here, so it might be all right to leave it like that. But I do feel like this needs to be whited out. Otherwise, the space doesn't really make a lot of sense. I could leave that for a little bitty block there, but I don't think I will. I tend to white out lines quite often. And when you use this jelly roll pen, the trick is just to have a very light touch. If you push hard like you normally would with a pen, your line shows through underneath, but if you float it across, it works really well. All right, maybe we could put some sunglasses right there. And maybe sunglasses and sandals there. Let's do that. Let's see here. We've got these sunglasses and these sandals. I'm going to put them angled in here. Could go on top of that. How do you think that looks if I do that? Or should I keep it above there? Let's put it there. Mm. <laughs> I think I would have liked it better up there. But, oh well, it's done. <laughs> it's done. Oh, there was a sun in here. Let me find that sun back. Here it is. Got to put the sunshine. We have this one little sun here, but we've got to put another sun somewhere. And actually, I think that might look cute up here by June. 
Let's turn this cute little sun a little bit sideways. That'll be the only thing that I have going off the top of the page, but I like that a lot. This is so much fun, isn't it? Beautiful bright colors for summer. It makes me stop and think about some of these just plain old lines, but actually I think I will leave them. I'm going to color this in so that my weekend block is two blocks. I could leave that just for Sunday, but I really would rather have my weekend look like a Saturday, Sunday block here. So I think we are almost done. I think there was a relax block that I was going to use, which I could have could have put that right there because I do like to have a self-care block. Let's see what this looks like if I put it up here. I kind of like that being open. This shows up better with that open. Let me see if I can get this up without making a mess. And if I can, yeah, I think I'll put my relax in here and then move my sandals to a little bit different spot. This would be cute at an angle even. But since I don't have anything else at an angle. I think I will keep it straight. I know that's kind of boring in that I do like to angle things, but since I don't have anything else angled, I think I will leave it. And let's see what this looks like if I put the shoes right here. Oh yeah, I like that better. Perfect. Now I have room for my gratitude list. I have a shopping list. I can make one of these, my family list, to-dos, I have plenty of those. This is gonna be my road to simple. Got my self-care block. So I think I have everything I need plus my birthdays. So I think we're good to go on this one. I think it turned out really cute. Very colorful summer spread. I hope you like it. Let's get my planner. Always like to see the final view of it in my planner. Looks more complete and I love it. How nice and colorful is that for summer? Love, love, love it. I hope you love it too. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. That really helps get more people to see it, more people to join the happy community of happy planning. So I hope that you will take time to include something for yourself. If you schedule something good to take care of yourself, I think you will have a better chance of actually doing it if you plan for it. And I will be making one of these blocks to be a decluttering block for me because I truly believe that decluttering and simplifying around the house definitely makes for a more simplified life a more simplified life allows more time for you to have to spend with those you love doing the things that you love. Do you have a passion about spreading the idea that decluttering is an important part of simplifying your life and making room for the things that you love? I do make videos about decluttering. I would love for you to check out those as well. I'll put a playlist above here that you can click on to view and see if you're interested in joining me for some decluttering videos as well. In the meantime, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, I would absolutely love it if you would do that. That would really add some sunshine to my day. So I hope you have a beautiful sunshiny week. Lots of good things, lots of simple pleasures. Keep it simple and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.